What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to day number three where we're going to be taking you through a phase three workout all concentrating on tricks Very similar to what we did yesterday. We're gonna do a minute of each trick. We're doing 10 of those. You rest 30 seconds in between and you repeat this a total, uh, sorry, one more time. So you complete it a total of two times. This is month three or phase three, weeks nine through 12, however you wanna call it, of our newest jump rope workout program, which was basically created by you guys and giving us feedback on all the different workouts that we already have on this channel. So we put together workouts based off of your feedback. They're all new and this workout specifically today is gonna to help you incorporate tricks into your workouts so you can have more fun, jump more rope, get leaner, and live an epic life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to start things off, we're doing a warm up. Just like yesterday's workout, we're gonna do 20 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, then we have 10 front lunges, five on each leg, followed by 10 push ups. Um, don't rush through this, guys. Just make sure to warm up properly, and if you need to do an extra round, that is totally cool as well. Um, you know, dance a little bit. It's okay to dance and get warmed up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to start things off, we're going jump rope run in place, jump rope run in place. So gonna just get warmed up here. And what I want you guys to focus on is again, the form just being the elbows jutting out to the sides of your hips. Um, everything looks the same as it does for regular bounce. Running in place is not that much different of a movement. Um, my wrists and forearms are controlling everything and keeping that rope nice and tight. Come on, Zendu Nation, do the thing. Also guys, if you want to get access to these three months of workouts, this is just one of the workouts from phase three of our new jump rope workout program. You can click the link below um, and check that out. Good ladies and gentlemen, be sure to go as fast as, and as intense as you can while still being able to maintain a good jump rope rhythm. You wanna be able, the whole idea behind doing tricks is that you wanna be able to increase your speed, increase your ability to do transitions um, so that you can look like an awesome jump rope ninja um, while at the same time losing body, body fat. Um, the great thing about jumping rope is that it's a skill that you can constantly improve and have a lot of fun with while at the same time producing an extremely high calorie burn and uh, a 
allowing your body to maintain its lean muscle mass. So I say this a lot, but think about the jump rope body as like the Zen dude physique or dude at physique is like a soccer player, like a muscular lean soccer player or an NFL wide receiver for guys or, um, you know, a shooting guard, that type of fast athletic body is what we're shooting for here at Zen dude fitness and uh, jump ropes a big part of that. The biggest part of it, obviously. Um, next guys, jump rope, double unders, jump rope, double unders. Now notice here on the double unders, I'm not going like every, I'm not just doing double unders for a minute. I mean, God bless you if you can do that, but with this rope, it is a little bit difficult. Um, and again, we want to maintain our form. So what I'm doing is three double unders and then three to five skips, just regular. Okay. Maybe more like five to 10. Um, and then following that up with three double unders. Good. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got the jump rope fast skip, jump rope fast skip. This one, now all these uh, moves, guys, just recognize that we have tutorials on all of these. So if you don't know how to do some of these moves, that's totally fine. Just go to our tutorials playlist and you can learn them for free. All right, guys, the fast skip, by the way, is just you're bouncing on one foot twice and the other foot is kicking back and kicking forward. So while you do the one, two hop on your one foot, you're just kicking back and kicking forward with the other one before switching it. That's the best way I can describe this move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, simple, simple, simple boxer skip here, just alternating the weight of our feet, going from right to left and shifting that weight while both feet are technically tapping the ground at the same time. Um, this is a move that you just wanna get down to again, look like a jump rope ninja, look like a boxer, look like a fighter when you're training. Um, it's, it's a great move to learn and it's the best because it's like the basic jump rope skip. So that's a very good move to have in your repertoire. Um, it also allows for a lot of transitions and also it takes a lot of pressure off your feet because it's a very kind of lazy step, if you will. All right, guys, next up, jump rope heel taps, jump rope heel taps. Now, you're probably getting a little bit tired. That's okay. Push through this, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the best thing about doing 
high intensity short burst workouts is that you never have to worry about Sorry, thought I turned my mic off there for a sec. The mic is on, ladies and gentlemen. The best part about doing high intensity workouts is that they don't last that long. So guys, I know you're getting tired right now, but just get as intense as you possibly can for the remainder of this workout, repeat it one time, and be done with it. Go do whatever you have to do the rest of your day to live an epic life. gentlemen we're on the second half now jump rope toe taps jump rope toe taps jump rope toe taps looks a little bit like feet front to front to back but it is not okay you're leaning back and reaching out to tap your toes rather than feet front to back you're literally moving one foot back and one foot forward um, this is just you're staying in the regular bounce stance but then throwing one of your feet outward Ladies and gentlemen, the crisscross. Now we're gonna get into some more challenging tricks. Um, the crisscross, I'm only doing it every few, if you'll notice here. And by the way, guys, I'm sure you've seen this by now. Brandon and I mess up. Like we have a lot, of, we mess up all the time when we're working out. The, the key here, see, I just messed up. Doesn't matter. Just get right back on with your workout and put a smile on your face, you know? Jumping rope is a fun thing, especially when you're doing it in front of graffiti. I also highly recommend jumping rope in front of graffiti that is colorful because it will immediately improve your day and raise your uh, dopamine levels. So do that. All right, now we're gonna up it up, up it a little bit and have jump rope run in place crisscross. So a little bit more challenging. You gotta get your feet down a little bit more um, for this move. But all we're doing here is doing a crisscross. Notice how my hands stay in that figure eight kind of motion. And what I'd recommend guys is actually choking down on the handles. Grab the handles a little bit lower and let your wrists be loose. Do you see my wrists, how I just kind of fling the rope and it, and it just does this nice little cross while keeping the rope tight? That's because I'm letting my wrists just kind of flow freely and my forearms are what's torquing them down there. Nice, easy rhythm, guys.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, second to last one. I know you're tired, but let's go 110%. Come on, side swipe, side swipe. Now there's a bunch of combinations you can do with side swipe. For example, you're gonna see me here. Sometimes I'm doing one side swipe and then a regular bounce underneath me. Other times I'm just going side swipe the whole time. Other times I'm going run in place with the left to right side swipe. So there's many ways that you can do this trick. Um, I recommend just picking one that you think is cool and you know stick with it for a little bit. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we got the jump rope three-step twist. This is a tough move. This looks pretty easy, but what I want you guys to focus on is tapping the feet in the middle and then going to the right, going back to the left. So don't think of it as three steps necessarily. Think of it as you have to keep going back middle every other jump. So every other jump, you have to come back to the middle and then the other, every other jump, you're just throwing your feet out to the sides. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for giving it your all and doing the thing with us here at Zen Nude Fitness. Um, we just wanna, again, say a huge shout out to the community for continuing to build the momentum that we see. Um, it's awesome, guys. There's a ton of people leveling up and we just wanna thank you for being part of this awesome Zen Nude Fitness community. Um, lastly, if you want the workouts, they are linked up below. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on the next workout. If you guys like this video, please, if you would, so kindly give us a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe so we continue to grow this jump rope revolution. Do the thing, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want access to this new program, it is linked up below. Peace, Zen dudes and dudettes.